Amadi ya bijogi no kumbita kwa terms and conditions filige kumbala no mitoni kwa. The Amadi ya had terms and conditions about the job I was doing for them. So follow follow tau mi wao no ne wao no mi idi gole de mi mi wao watu wa de mi wao watu yaro de de idi insert yeye. Yeah, because I wanted to work with them when they explained that to me. I said yes, I will be able to uh, work with them based on those terms and conditions. Kono yeye hasi ya tau mi wao watu. But after working with them for some time, I realized that I cannot work under those conditions. And that was the reason why you left. Yes, that's why I left the job. Okay. Mr. Saul, can you continue telling us about when you were at Alliance Franco, furthering your French studies? Johnny Dawight continued to talk about the Alliance Franco, the Alliance Franco, the Gambia, the Gambia, the Gambia, the Gambia, the so then got to be armed here uh headmaster one of the kundaur upper basic school when i left the ahmadiyya the headmaster who was at the kundaur basic school or we will follow a french teacher by the kanko only principal so we follow no bar nangan the french lesson to the school makoto he said he wanted a french teacher so that uh, he will continue teaching french at the school where he was and then jami Men body signed contract. Do we did it? Then I went. We signed a two-year contract. So when Jangi na no me go in, don't do we did it? I was teaching there for those two years. Ko ondo no waktu a project da pui oni project got do for France be o be Jangi na no teacher be Jangi na no be France ender lady for kauri na no be dulago be Jangi na be ko hono France burta well the Jangi na the ender lady. English. During that time, there was uh, a meeting because the French people came and said they want all French teachers to converge so that they'll go through a workshop so that the teaching and learning of French will be advanced in the country. So, first Franco. That was the first time I went to the Alliance Franco Gambia. Uh, me arto i alian franco kono onto mako alian nengarto me alian franco ko jangu gol tigi tigi alian franco wana jangu gol hono jangi nirte well after that workshop I went back to teaching but later on I came back to the alliance franco gambian and this time it was a basic course that I came there to follow so you were actually sponsoring yourself when you went back to the Alliance Franco. You know why you joined the Gilanda Mayahudo Alliance France? You can't even know the fancy of the whole drama. Now, the whole community to go Alliance Franco, the office of the Alliance Franco, office of the president, only go to know me now. Well, my second trip to Alliance Franco, that one was sponsored by the office where I was working, which happens to be the president's office. That's where I was working. When did you start working for the president's office? What number of foot did the legana the office of president officer? Gila do be guru jadi di tati. I started working there from 2003. Can you tell us the position you held? Dah hidup awal hari ini mereka makam ahum boleh jadi nada gila anda mau ligol lah yang nada orang. Nanti mi office of the president ko on the records clerk. I started there as a records clerk. Continue to tell us the progress you made at the president's office. Johnny Dawai, continue to hala na yimbe yaru gol ma yeso gol kohono yari gilanda mali gol wano da golu de office president office. Nengo no me president's office gila 2003. Me wani don ha me wani don do be tati do be nai on position god on makama godo. I spent two to three years at the same position at the president's office. Then, when then, but I was promoted. Better than I was promoted to record supervisor two. Then I was promoted to the position of record supervisor two. One, we only have to go out and do it. That is hard to do. Now, then I spent two to three years at that position. Then, get time to turn to records, bank and records, now I'm protocol. That was the time when I was removed from the records office, then I was taken to the protocol section. Can you tell us what led to you being promoted from records to protocol? protocol. records, on time, 
taw mi do hokkete no golle kadi golle de gandu dare tawaka e golle records because because when i was working at the records office i was given other assignments different from the work of the records officer then this is how i was involved in doing other works which were related to the protocol job so what i don't uh kala hen ko nangudo mi min ko sobe tan nangira ni dum kala ko ngokano mi wat mi wara hen watti chakan bay mi andi hewbe jodi fala wona den golle hebaadi min simi okama wona den ngal don tiddo ngal mi do foti wadde kala ko mbo mi mbele fewa because uh, i am somebody who is very serious with his job whatever assignment or job i was given i do it with utmost seriousness and to the best of my level or ability so they recognize that in me that i am somebody who is very very willing in his job so this is what uh, prompted them to give me that promotion because i know that there are others sitting outside sitting outside who, who are in need of the job was it also due to the fact that you were fluent in french both in reading and speaking it nda eh ko ko tawa e mun kon ko wadi be beedi be beedi banka ma ma on nda no tawa e mun ko du woni ida ida nani français aw ida wa inglis ida ida wa inglis aw français on ate a winday kadi eh ko buru dum fa buru hen tawe de bay on tuma nde wonno ko records ngun nomi men keba no letera ji kewdi garoji goddi di wona he inglis di minnete no ko français di minnete no so taw hebe non nganda ko won winda hen ko mabe na ba dum foreign affairs dum dum no boyi so ko burno ko yawde ko lamda de gandu do france o jangana be dum o andana be ko dum won dum buri yawde yes uh, because um initially when i was at the records office a lot of letters come around which were also not only in english some were in french so uh, they sometimes they have to take the letter to uh, other people to read right. for them for but later Uh, uh, after they, they realized that always taking these letters to the foreign affairs office takes time so when they realized that i am good in french that's the time they, when they started bringing these letters to me for translation and later on this is why uh, i was later on transferred to the section of the protocol whereby anything that comes in french i i have to deal with it Thank you very much Mr so so what was your position at the protocol office Ilanda ma wonda protocol ka office don ko hondum makama hondum jogina da to Ah natugal am protocol um ko cadet protocol officer bi wonno kam I started as a cadet protocol officer Can you tell us some of your responsibilities E do no ender dum ndahida way hala ne be ender golle ma dum tawa e hondum e hondum woni e tawa e mu Wonde cadet protocol officer woni protocol of zaman ganunda homo ndare hono gollirta homo ndare kadi hono golle de jarata homo janga he dowdum when you are a credit protocol officer uh, you have to learn the job uh, something like on the job training and you have to observe what goes what is what are the norms of the job and you follow the footsteps of your senior officers so that you will be able to do the job as they are doing it and this is how i learned to become somebody who uh, was able to do his job as a protocol officer i learned from my seniors but can you please tell this commission so we get a better understanding of what your roles were what were your day to day roles and duties as a protocol officer da way walu de yimbe ha na yimbe ha laba pour me wawa ande nyande fo si ayi golle e der glige maaden ko hondum hondum fu wan wadata wonu gol credit protocol officer ko dum men fala pour walla men labina na men do na tawa he golle protocol office men batta areñ a mitinaaji hakkunde lamdo leedi o he kala ko ngano da ko to yaas woni we part of our job is to make arrangements for meetings between the president and those who have appointments with him or who has got to attend meetings uh, with the president that was part of our job menen kadi balata be mbeli kala ko be mbara kala ko wadate ko ngaduna ina faade office dum yaara lawol mum and we also take care of whatever goes on in the office to make sure that we do it or it is done properly and accordingly kadi si tawi lamdo no mbo mbo hodo yo to yas minen gado to yotto yaade to yaara to men laara ton woniri men dutito men kala na be ga hono ton woniri do he be ngi maade ga be jaha tawas be jotti be tawat fof ina tem and it is part of our job wherever the president whenever the president is to travel out of the country we are the people who will go before he leaves 
and we will go to the place where he's supposed to come. We look around, check around to see whether the place is conducive or it is uh, good for the president to come and stay here. When everything is all right, then we will report back uh, and inform them that, well, everything is okay here. Then after that, the president will leave and travel and go to that place. So it is correct to say that you used to be part of the advance team who would arrange before the president would actually leave to travel. Yes, that's it. So this made you identifiable by the president? Yes, it can be, but it was not the president himself who uh, uh, appointed me as the protocol officer. Maybe I should rephrase it. So it meant that the president could actually identify you. He would know you by name. Yes, that's true. So he will recognize me amongst people and know my name too. And that in most part of your job, you would interact with the president a lot. Well, my interaction with the president, except when we travel out of the country, but when we are inside the country here, most of the time, uh, it is that the letters or the documents that come to me, which I minute to him, and the documents that come from the president, which he minutes to me, uh, so that I will take care of whatever is supposed to be done with those documents. Just for record purposes, can you give us the name of the president we're talking about? President Hombo, Hombo, President Hombo. That was our former president, Al Haji Abdul Aziz Yahya Jamus Junkung Jamme. And those were the only names you knew him by. Yes, he has uh, many names, but this is mainly these are the names that he's known by. Thank you very much, Mr. Sob. When you said he would minute letters to you, were they being minuted directly to you for action? Well, the office of the Secretary General was the office between us and the President. Whatever comes from the President goes through the office of the Secretary General and then later comes to us. Whatever goes from us or, uh, uh, to the President, it goes through the office of the Secretary General, then to the President. Whatever is supposed to come from me to the president, if I write anything, it goes to the secretary general. From him, it goes to the president. And whatever comes from the president also, when he writes, it goes to the office of the secretary general, then from the office of the secretary general, it comes down to us. Okay, thank you for that. So yeah. it shows that there was a chain of work. So documents were not, or letters were not directly minuted to you, but they were minuted through the secretary general, and they came to the department where you worked and not necessarily directly to you. 
awa hino wai ni gwele mwende hino wai ni kwa wata kwa chain of command kwa duwa noton leta ruji imu roti nka mongko yare ka secretary general si iwi ka secretary general ya haka ya jame ya emu ya jame kadi leta ruji imu roti nka mako li ara e office secretary general si iwi ka secretary general li ara emu kwa hino wai konong goli rai noton konong goli rai yaro exactly that's how we were working can you tell us who the secretary general was at that time nda ida hawaii hala nde imbe onja maanu kuhomba wano secretary general on Um, in the future, we will do the letter that I just told you to President. In the future, we will do the minute that I just told you to President. To co force co one Lord on co Ibrahim Kamara on even on help Bengali. Well, when I went there newly, it was Ibrahim Kamara who was the Secretary General uh, uh, at the office of the President. But after Ibrahim Kamara, many others came to that office who were also appointed as Secretary Generals. How many years did you work at the protocol office before your detention? Do you know Ligida, who was office protocol office? Do I know Nangere? Why I don't know, but I heard I heard that the future was a dubi dili. Not long, not much. I, it, it, it should be between one and a half years to two years. In that period, how many secretary generals did you work with? Ender don don watu ji don di ligi da don don di duani hita nde efekira ma dubi di dibi da di ku secretary general ji di jalu suba en en under on office. Um, skip a forty yota de tatwa. I think it could be up to three. Can you name them for the commission, please? Oh, inda hidawa halande commissioner inde inde mabio. Um, Abdullah Salam watawa no hen. Abdullah Salam was one of them. Ibrahim Kamara Mohen. Ibrahim Kamara was also one of them. Can you hear Dr. Njogu Laminba? And Dr. Njogu Laminba. So in your tenure of about one year, three months, you've worked with three different secretary generals. Our hino wa ini ender gwalda maa dan duwa ni hita ande e lebi e tati. Ang ali godike secretary general ji tati. Ali godike ma be. Yes, that's how it went. Thank you. So, Mr. So, if we may move on a bit further. Now, I would like you to tell us about the incident that happened at your residence in November 2012. November 2012, uh, November 2012, I was at that time resident at Nyingyildum. La mo noko no kam pajero, four wheel pajero, four wheel Mitsubishi pajero. I was I was issued with a four wheel Mitsubishi pajero. Number one noko GG 0023A. The number was GG 0023A. Who issued you with a pajero? Number one no mangal pajero wal. One time, co control of government vehicles here in Osamba. It was given to me by the control of government vehicles. His name is Samba. Continue. Continue. Let me tell you. Let me continue. Oh, we, Nyanden, Nyanden, Jema, your team, me, me, the parking motor, Damagal Sudo, I'm the Jema. Ari Garlo, Fusi, where got or not in their motor. Well, I parked the vehicle at the front gate of where I was resident. So during the night, somebody came and broke one of the window glasses uh, and was able to access the, the, the interior of the vehicle. Konamin, Allah wali kam tau, tau mi Allah hayhuni mdana koto moto to. Sabu, jeptu no do, natu do ener moto fo, kopuriko hewde sinu uja, ko rajo moto o uja ta, Wala jakum, wala bagasi jiko yarnon. Kono odo mema ni bagasi jimo to dihai hune. Well, I was lucky that day because the thief was unable to take anything out of the vehicle. Mostly when they do these things, when they break the window of vehicles, what they steal are the car radio or other things that might be useful for them inside the vehicle or the jack and other things. But luckily for me, the guy didn't take anything from the vehicle. So nyanden tau tau. Mereka tahu mereka phone no sodor de maro fi family amu so kon kalis rego noton. In fact, I left some money inside the vehicle 
which I wanted to use to buy rice for my family. That was the only money inside the vehicle. You can tell me, you I was in the car and 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 I was in the car. I also had a Bluetooth hands-free and their motor all onto my, sorry, I had a Bluetooth hands-free earpiece inside the vehicle. I use it when I'm driving. That's what I used to put on my ear when I'm driving. That was also inside the vehicle. So, what do you think? He carries over the jetty. It was that Bluetooth earpiece and the money for my rice. These are the two things that the thief took away. Come a flash drive, but no Ethiopian music. And a flash drive which I had with me with some Ethiopian music inside the flash drive. So you're trying to tell us that really no valuable was taken from the car. Aun, ini nawa ini jauh ni afal aja deh. Ibu anda mah motor on, gelang dan gudang ari on hari tuh. Jadi tantung ko anda dah ini, 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 ini ti, ini, ini ti di dal. Farang, hai lara. Yes. But you've mentioned that a flash drive was actually taken. Kau nawi anda mah flash drive ya tama tu. Hey. Yes. You've also mentioned that it had some music on it. Nawi anda mah music aja nih, their own flash drive. Hey. Yes. Was there any confidential or any other important information on the flash drive? On flash drive, movie da on the get on kadinda. No odi ko anda na hino mara no endera mako anda na wano hino nafi mo no nafi ha ko anda na wanda mako unko ko anda for the andu dunu ngi be goli dera ma anda for the andu dunu. Actually, flash flash drive ko ko music format one no dera ko double M. Or flash drive could be sold more because of the music. One of them are Addis Ababa mission now. I bought the flash drive in Addis Ababa. It's a WMA flash drive with music inside it, and it was uh, Ethiopian music which was inside the flash drive. On to my tower, I did a flash drive for why not the document on about format these all formats of, 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 of data. And at that time, uh, not all flash drives can be formatted to take data. Uh, this is why uh, this one I, I bought was only music. Thank you, Mr. So. So at what point of the next day did you discover that the car was broken into? and <laughs> Semua ini makum lor atau semua lor ini mahami pari arah menjula. So dua yang mewad de, dua yang pernah ada gudang aku mial tanno. Bifom pemotor milor tamu mendara, fourth mendara sita wani nebam dan mewo izan soalan dia mene koyari non. So ko on waktu, one on head de waktu jadi di subaga. What I usually do in the morning is when I wake up, sometimes before six, sometimes around around six o'clock. Uh, I will go and have showers. After my showers, I'll pray. After prayers, uh, usually I'll go out to go and check the vehicle and clean the vehicle. And uh, this is what I usually do every morning. So it was during the inspection when I came to clean the vehicle and check, that was the time when I discovered this uh, uh, incident. So when you discovered it was broken into, did you do anything? Jalan rumah ya udah i, udah farm udah awan dalam motor anda ofus sama, anda wadi ke warna dah? Eh, kongkali rumah ya udah kau call the sambaba. What I did initially was to call sambaba. Kau kangko no government control, vehicle government control of itu. He was the government vehicle controller. Ne parmi don after call me, ne arrest police station orang, because kau 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 nuri nukah, nuri kau nuri police, buat nama badan ada bim bim okay, nuri bim banyu lalu police. After talking to him, he told me to call to call the nearest police station, and it was the banyu lalu police station which was nearer to me, so I called the banyu lalu police station. So you call the controller who is in charge of the government vehicles, and he asked you to call the police station to report the matter, which you did. And was this recorded and booked at the police station? Johnny, you know what? In the Gilan Dama Vet, Yahuda Farm, Uda Wanda Motor, and Devere, Rujin Fusamate, Wadina Rudon, Yeti Don Gotum, Noduda Sambaba, Mandanama Wanda Kankujogi, Fimurogi Lamud in Fop, Kokanko Mar Jogi, 
gila o noddu damo wi ma wonda ma joni an kadi ko wadata yahu nodde wadu noddu police station burdo ma badade ko on wattu noddu da banjuri ndin police station gila ndaba noddu da balni banjuri ndin police station da banjuri ndin police station kam be kadi dabbe windu noddu kan dairi mabbe be windu dum be be wi wonda ma be holira wonda ma ka book mabbe wonda ma an mamadu soude ari do ahali do fi nguji nguya ngo andanda hino o hebi esengoma eh sha yes be windu no ha de de be ari nde be ari sabe mbadi inspect moto hore um habe pari de be jeewi peena nakam ko bimita ko police report well they even came to check on the vehicle after they checked the vehicle they went back and booked uh, what, they, what they saw so that uh, they will prepare a police report for me we have a copy of that police report nda hida jogi copy copy on police report not on me me wonda na mako ni no it is not with me here kono banyu ni police station sa nda time line do totam na be o sa lamdi ma be baama totu de on be baama totu de no sibina re lok ma be o yes i can uh, give you the banjulun ding police uh, stations number uh, probably if one calls them they will be able to go through their diaries and this document might be still they might still be with them thank you mr saw as a commission we'll try later on to see whether we can actually get a copy of that report uh, yeah, and you will assist us come no ando dani commission men and come commission john men ngi yaw sewti do seda men daro me wadai fere men daro si me wawai e famondo de mabbe be da be da bita na men so after the report and it was booked and there was a police report was there any investigation that was done dilen dama yaw famin da police abe banjo nonim police station be are be daari affaire be book wadi do be winde nun ka daari mabbe ndagila dum fecce be be ligintino affaire on a banjo nonim police station mi ari don over three four times bay ko don dawan do mi a mi lamdo to be hono hoko be gandi he dum hoko wadi do kono kayan ko hunde wotere mbi kam mbi kala banoru dum ko sabotage yes i have been to the banjulun din police station three to four times but whenever i go there what they usually tell me is that well the person who did this did it just for sabotage that's what they were repeating to me whenever i go there was anyone arrested for breaking into the car nda e do do nder gandal ma famu no wonda ma wodi mo be andanda be sobidi be andanda be no mo be nangi na goto mi tinani no i was not aware of any arrests so up to date nobody is aware of who broke into the car a hande ka won den do ni hay goto anda ko hombo fusuno dem weru je moto wal nati der to to ha joni mi anda yes up to this date i don't know mrs so can you continue to tell us what happened after the police report and you were about to go back to work you and why continue ha na yimbe gelanda ma yahuda police ha police on wind report mabbe fuddida yahudo yahugol golle ko honnu wadi de police abe ngi de be pari ko be ko be ndara no ko der moto ha be pari ha be bi kan okay joni simen jey min peone ma police report bi be awa ben police abe sa ko min wadi be drive ha banjuli no station ban be drop after yahudo office yes uh, after the police checked and they informed me that yes we will write a police report and uh, 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 whatever comes after you will be informed in fact it was me myself who drove those policemen back to the banjulunding police station and i dropped them at the police station there can you continue to tell us what happened after that da way continue hal na yimbe ko hondo hebi gila dum don wadi so da wonno da wonno moto mi da goddo goddo no wawa hebde access nata hen der moto he jomma way sita woni o arnaldo o wujjan ton bagage because moto o bo soki joni sita woni goddo heboy chance goddo heboy chance o ari o tawi window o fewna ka ha joni kanko nata to way jeftu de bagage goddo so min mi fadani hay police report mi fadani hay office wi kam be wara dum maintenance min so wi wi hali sam fewnu mi wero yes because after this incident i didn't want anybody else to access the interior of my vehicle So when all that thing when all things took place then I I decided by myself to go and repair the vehicle so I took my own money and I went and repaired the window and I made it back so that uh, 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 because I I ha- I usually lock the vehicle so so that nobody else will be able to access the vehicle or the interior of the vehicle so uh, that's why I decided on my own to go and repair whatever has been broken there e do mi hen kadi sonu uh um anti theft alarm system ban mi hen uh, install then after that i decided to buy an anti theft alarm system which was installed inside the vehicle so you are telling this commission that 
you used your own funds to actually repair the vehicle and to even install a security measure for your own protection. Joni, you know what in here? I follow with the commission on the Moko and to know Buddha Pansim and Budima. Yahuda, Fiona, Bona, no one, and Moto. You know, I had done it, you know, that Yahuda, you know, that Yahuda so to the Kuwait of anti anti deaf alarm. Yahuda posted out on the Puru, a weaver, and Puru, who is the Adidon Hara, a farmer, a female. Gonga. Yes, that's true. Can you tell us what happened after you did that? Eh, I don't know why Haland didn't begin what that don't go on to what it. Maru Roko Alarba, Jama. This incident happened on Wednesday at night. When you when you fail 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 to go motor, you have to go to anti alarm system or anti theft alarm system or co Alarba Jama don't worry. One of fourth complete, fourth one complete. All the job and the installment of the anti theft alarm. All, all that job was done on a Wednesday in the evening. Oh, when I jam go home, alchemist, I am looking at me normal. The following day was a Thursday. I went to work as normal, and I came back home. Juma on a way home. And Friday also the same thing. I went to work. Everything was normal. Kor, anya le juma anya le garu me. Me artu juma me do me do gal le ha waktu di jeta di waktu gaye. But when I came back home on Friday, uh, I was at home until around 8 o'clock. Lamin Sane, or what you can call. That was the time when the commander of the then state guards called me Lamin Sane. Or we can mean come be at the we may have a Arthur Moto Django. He informed me that, well, he has been given instructions to tell me that I should return the vehicle the following day. Did he tell you where he got those instructions from? No, hala no makohondo hegu nonde yamirore. Milam dunum first operano hala kono bimo ana okani kama moto te ala authority lam lo galam moto. When I questioned him where he got that instruction from, initially he refused to tell me. Then I also told him that, but you didn't give me the vehicle. So then how can I return the vehicle to you? So, no andi mi parisa tinde o vi kam. Also, Anand Andi, Anand Andi mean, say me hardly know what Andi got to do to me. Well, when I was defiant, he realized that I have stood on my ground. Then he decided to tell me, "So you know me." So this order, you should know that it came from the top, not from me. It isn't my order. It came from the top. Oh, you can come to take your sick one day when they will be on. Sick one day when they will not be used. Come to lamb do. Come on, I'm not lamb. Then he, in fact, informed me. Well, he thought that the vehicle I was using was a central government vehicle, not a vehicle belonging to the head of state. Okay. So you told us that he said the instructions came from the top. Oh, we we da wonder ma lime insane. Oh, we ma wonder ma the forty five mu da wonder ma kongongol ko do imori. And that you should understand when he says from the top. Ida forty five hundred so we ma wonder ma kongo ma kodo imori. Can you explain to us here in the commission to understand what they mean by from the top? Jo ni ka wonder adon ka jo di adon dahi da wa ila binan de menan yeso amen komisong on do sa we wonder ma do kondu wani dum kondu dum firti. From the top bo we no dono on imori so do bo we no dono mi da andi lamin sane secretary general okatana dum instruction yo jep tu motoam. Tell me, Andy, control the government vehicle. Allow authority vehicle lamin sane. What are the necessary if you can go? We are lamin sane. Not do so. We are the article motor. I know that. I know that the control of the vehicles will not give instructions to lamin sane for him to ask me to return the vehicle. And I know that also the then secretary general will not give him instructions from him for for lamin sane. To tell me to return the vehicles, so I understood that these two people don't have the authority to take this vehicle from me. So go to come now, do the work. Do what the that our government say. I must do what I do. At that time, on what to do? Co president, yeah, yeah, me want to do what? Yeah, yeah, me. So it was only one person who has that authority to tell government say to tell me to return the vehicle, and that. Passing happens to be the head of state, Yaya Jame himself. 
So you're telling us that you believe the orders came from Yaya Jame to actually take back the vehicle from you. Joni, hina waini afala wida wanda ma anko kuhuli kuhuli da kwenye hakita kunangu da kwenye hakila ma kudua ni wanda ma mikongo ngo kwa imoro na kudua ni yamiro na kwa imoro na kudua ni Yaya Jame kwa ngahali ni lami sana puri yonot de puri morong ibe artiram. He do no lami sana wira kama ni wanda ma dunguru do iwe kwa ondan gandu mi wani do gandu da mwa wida lami sana yu yu London moto. Yes, it, that could be the only reason because it was uh, Lamin San who told me, who gave me this information. And as I know the system, uh, Lamin San doesn't have that authority. Then it can only be one person who, who happens, who can be the head of state. He is the only person who can give instructions like that for me to return the vehicle. Thank you, Mr. Saul, for that. You also yeah. said something interesting. You said when he spoke to you, he actually mentioned that he taught your vehicle was from the central government and not from state have state house vehicle hali do gari ko kirbi do woni wi da wonda magina o nodduma o wi ma o wi ma wonda kanko o sikku nonda moto mo jogino da on ko na na laamu laamu ngun jema ko state house on jema on the contrary ko wi hmm yes what he said was kanko laame sana wi min o wi o wi kam and min ko cheddo hal ni kam dum sa o wi kam Dengan mereka nung, ya lom tiri tiri apa yang faham. Dengan mereka nung, motor membeli bulu, hegi la motor long. Aman ke mana kuna faham motor ni? Well, what he told me, he he gave me this information in Mandinga. He told me that well, the vehicle you have, I thought that it was a vehicle belonging to HE, not a central government vehicle. Thank you for that. But that still gets to my point: is does it mean that there were vehicles that were personally owned by HE? Ya hichame then? Nda, awo, awo, hajo nende, nuno kirbi hae mako. Joni, hana hajo na afala yende uide wandama, ya ya jame, hechi. Imojiki mutuwa jingu wandu, dongo wandu na wandama, kukamputiki jayi. All work to do, mene niko du mengo nyo, because, mene ya na mutuwa jidi ngandu nda, central government, wawana soda wandu in mutuwa jidi. Mene ngandu nyo kadi, fleet ji mako di, fleet mako, he fleet, jiji fleet o wanari gotum. So I mean protocol to I mean, no access from time to time I mean what I use motor you mako kango or mako instead of when I use motor you I mean meaning government. Yes, at that time the central government has its own fleet of vehicles. But HE also has his own fleet of vehicles. Then from to time to time we when we need uh, transportation, sometimes we will use vehicles from his own fleet which are different from the, the, the central government vehicles. Because among the HE fleet of vehicles, you have, very, uh, you have vehicles which we know that the central government will not buy. So those vehicles can be only purchased by the president. So the, he has his own fleet different from the central government vehicles. Thank you for that, Mr. Sao. Yeah. And just as a point to go back a bit, you had said that you believe the order came from Yai Jame to take the vehicle. Ruto dem ba wase da tang. Avi wanda ma do hakkilema anko gomda ko hakkilema wida wanda ma sikuda e mijo made kongongol ko Yai Jame ngol imori. Could it have been possible that the order actually came from someone else and not Yai Jame? Da hino wa yi wanda kadi. Kongongol hingol wa imora de sengu go sengu go do go harawana Yai Jame. No I wonder possible. Yes that could be possible. Kono mimi impression kwa lamin lamin sana oki kanga wani wanda no bara hano yuko top iwe mimi jima Allah hibu dalu kuhamu wani on top of lamin sana a state guard commander kuri mimi anu dukuhamu wani doma kwa siona kanga ya jambo well that could be possible but according to my own deductions it could only be the the head of state because as lamin sana told me it came from the top and if you think in those days what the top means for us. It could be only one person, and that is the head of state. Thank you very much, Mr. Saul. So, when you were asked to now return the vehicle, what actions did you take? You are not going to be my one of Puria and tomorrow. Uncle Honu won't know a badema. Adi Tauk, we call me call chief chief of protocol at the time. First of all, I called the then chief of protocol. Can you give us his name? One one you know who it is. Moses Benjamin Jalo. His name is Moses Benjamin Jalo. Continue. Then not do more me happy. After calling him, 
bi mo mi wonda mi de commanda koli kam do wi yom wat sorenda moto amo i informed him that the commander of the state guard called me and told me to surrender my vehicle so sita woni hada hen ande hunde so if you are aware of this uh, uh, information kodo man hodo hodo man bi da hen what have you got to say about this so quickly kan ko wi kam no okkudu moto re okkudu 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 then quickly he told me no 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 return the vehicle to them give them the vehicle a pare no do me non on to ma samba la ndi mi samba then i called samba by himself call me dum hangon mi korimi dum hebde but uh, i tried many times to reach him but i was unable to get him on the line then when me call former chief of pre- previous chief of protocol before moses then i called the previous chief of protocol before moses became the chief of protocol can you uh, give us his name no no wede and position e at that time on what to kanko woni alaji usman sise at the time taw kanko wonno uh, director general of state protocol at the ministry of foreign affairs his name is alhaji usman sise he was the then director of protocol affairs at the ministry of foreign affairs so kala no mbi mo ah minen de minen de ko ko dum wadi gay o kam awi o kam hodum hodum chief of protocol wi then after giving him the information he asked me then what is the view of the chief of protocol kala no mbi mo ah cop de wi o ki do mi toti be vehicle then i said to him yes the cop said let me return the vehicle to them o kam okay he said okay mbi mo sa mi no hala no min de keba no mo vehicle actually ko an wonno do Yes. Then I also, I also informed him that the reason for calling you is that when I was uh, giving this vehicle it was because of you and you were aware about all the arrangements so this is why before returning the vehicle I have to call you and put you in the picture Mr Sau did you return the vehicle Mr Sonda ko sakiti ko nga jondi to no moto onyan onyan juma juma jema mi wawade nawtude moto kono wiidi subaka taw ko set set la wonno gambe do nyanen samedi subaka aset subaka so before 9 nawdu moto banjul state house ngokku mo bite do a momadou ndjay kanko wonno hotli den commander uh, i was unable to return the vehicle on that friday evening but the following day was a saturday and it coincided with a set set al which was taking place but before 9 o'clock i rose and took the vehicle to state house and i handed it over to mr momodou ndjay um we are on to my uncle oddly he was the oddly to to the, to, to the commander of the state house uh, state guards so this momodou ndjay was actually the oddly to mr sane no wa ini o momodou ndjay kanko wonno oddly gardo mr sane o no no yes did you sign any paperwork for handing it the vehicle over bilande manatu bilan de manatu da moto ndaw wodi kaydi ndi andanda ba siyi non di woni wi go sign handing over ala no were you given any sort of acknowledgement to say that you had handed back the vehicle bilande manatu da moto on kadi nda be holir no ma ye kongol wonda ma be jabbi wonda ma joni moto on arti rimo ko wete acknowledgement de ngaddu mi chabe o do ye jeptu chabe o kol tawo When I brought the vehicle and I was about to hand over the keys before even he took the keys from me he made a call Mr. Kenon ko o wi ko lamin sane o call at that moment he said hala mo wonde ma modou mi sa so adi moto he said he was calling lamin sane at that time to inform him that uh, momodou has uh, brought the vehicle Thank you Mr. Sao So after you gave back the vehicle can you tell us what happened after that with your job way. kontinde hala nayi be bilan dama yahuda natuda moto on kon du wadi nyanden totirmi wi ko moto ko kodmi hantino gila onduma nyanda fof ko mi yobat passa mi do yaha goddo sa ko misa juma jane mo ngado da kanko no kanko wo kanko ne ko one of the directors of protocol wonno foreign affairs kanko jeptano kam from yundum ona wakam ligge ko nyanda fof wadano hosul mi wakilo mi yaabi golle mi arta kadi after returning the vehicle From that day on I had to find my own way going to work and coming home. Every day I have to pay fare to go to work and come home. Sometimes it was Mr. Jumajane who was also uh, at, uh, working at the protocol section. Sometimes he will give me lift to going to work. Uh, uh, so he was the person who was giving me lift sometimes, but usually I have to pay 
uh, to find my own way to go to work. And how long did this go on for? No, I need to get them not to die more on high, go to your compass for my window, Miss Ove, Mr. Juma, Naborama, no, yeah, what to Jijalu? Do what a boy I need, Sabu Missicana should be why would the gentle lady, sir? It was not long. I think it was just for a period of two weeks. So can you tell us what happened after the two weeks? Well, it was towards the end of those two weeks. One day I went to the office and that was the day I was arrested. To be specific, it was on the 19th of November 2012. You reported to work in the morning. For your morning meetings. And you continue to tell us what happened. You we went for that meeting. Continue to meeting. Usually when I go to work, after reporting, after reaching my office, what I usually do first is to go to the office of the chief of protocol. Sorry, Mr. So, sorry. Can you confirm that the date I mentioned is correct? Yes, yeah. it looks uh, correct, as he stated. He said, yes, it's look, it looks correct. Thank you. Continue. So, the first thing I want to say is, I want to say that I am the chief of protocol, I want to say that I am the chief of protocol, I want to say that I am the chief of protocol, I want to say that I am the chief of protocol, I want to say that I am the chief of protocol. Yes, that's the norm. Every day after reaching my office, I will go to the office of the chief of protocol. Then I'll give him the information about the assignments he gave me, those which took place already, those which were pending, and uh, uh, whatever is to be done, that's what we discussed. And if he has new assignments or anything new to do, then he will, uh, 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 we will discuss that. Can you confirm again the name of the chief protocol officer then? The day I am talking about, it was uh, during the tenure of Mr. Benjamin Jallo. Moses, Moses Benjamin, Benjamin Jallo, Jallo. Yes, sorry. Can you continue to tell us what happened that day? So it's just new and new and for Frank. Mia and your team at office Marco, Kono, the new team office Marco, Tau Mohala, a telephone. Well, that day also was just as usual. Uh, uh, when I reached my office, then I decided to go to the office of the chief of protocol. But when I entered his office, he was already on the telephone talking to somebody. So Nari Misera, be me father, me father, we were at Hang of Johnny, or maybe we jumped then I stood, uh, thinking that, well, let me wait until after he finishes talking on the phone, I will, uh, I will exchange greetings with him, then I'll inform him that, well, let me go back, but I'll come back later. Mr. Sao, do you remember what time of the day this was? It was about half past eight. It was in the morning, uh, in the early hours of the morning. It was around half past eight, eight thirty. So when you met him on the telephone, can you can you tell us what happened after that? Then the mayor who da ta who da him hala ka telephone. Then the way you ane hala dey beko ndu wadi. So me fada ne bolon kuburi minute minute goro wala minute aji didi. Ah, edu ga mesta vi men tonerro. It was just less than two minutes, maybe a minute and plus. That's the time when Edu Gomez came in and found us there. Mr. So, who is Edu Gomez? Mr. So, who is Edu Gomez? Edu Gomez is the NIA. He is the operative map of the Badanodo Post State House. Edu Gomez was working with the NIA. He was one of the operatives 
who was posted at the State House. Do you know his exact title at the NIA? Da, he da andi tiki 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 kuhon duwa ni gole ma kwa denga NIA ka State House tong. No, me na title title ma kona. Kono mi da andi koto koto intelligence office tong no. No, I don't know his title or rank, but I know that he was one of the intelligence officers. Continue to tell us what happened on that. Why fed you the hala na yimbe ko hebi kongadi? So koni edunati gila edunati. And this is how it happened. When Edu came into the office, he greeted me. Then Osonda Nikam. What you do? Osonda Nikam. I had to. Yes, he, 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 he decided to tell me something in, low, in a low voice. Um, Mr. So could direct to go to Fala Haludema. He told me that, Mr. So, one of our directors wanted to talk to you. I said, is that so? He said, yes. Okay. Uh, then, I said, okay, let's go. Then later on, I can come back and greet my boss because he is still talking on the telephone. This is how I went out with Edu. We left the office of the chief of protocol. We pay money. Intelligence unit quarters in the state house. Then we headed towards the intelligence unit's headquarters in the state house. Then, at the time that he whispered something to you in your ears, were you at the office of the protocol? Then, what to more? So only no got no. So only man got no can there no pima. Ndaka office protocol or one other. Their office ticket. Yes, a chief of protocol, desk makodo, office desk makodo, men go in their office makodo. I was standing right in front of the office uh, of the desk of the chief of protocol in his office. When Mr. Edu Gomez decided to escort you out of the office, he said, "Oh, Mr. Edu Gomez, who you oh 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 oh, me one day, my poor, fat jingle, my yalt in a maka under office." Did the chief of protocol stop his telephone call to find out why you were leaving the office? Chief of protocol on one boss man one not a telephone on halu go nda or touch no telephone on puru Orlando go hondo wadi hondo be one mana ude. Allah. No. So he just allowed the said Mr. Edu Gomez to escort you out. You know why he know any kang kudal of angi tango Johnny Lawal Mr. Edu Gomez of fake him mana puma. Hey. Yes. So continue to tell us what happened when you got to the office of the NIA at the State House. You know, I fed you the other night, and I was going to get to the office of the NIA State House. They went for it on the, they went for it on the intelligence quarters only the State House tone. We still could not direct to where we are going to go. When we were approaching the office of the intelligence unit in the State House, I thought that the director he talked about was in that office. Kono menjau menjoti atau atau edu orang edu bikam badan use motor amu. But when we reach, when we reached Edu's vehicle, he told me now let's let's use my vehicle. Kono menjau menjau dah kiri. Kono untuk mami angkat dulu mami wonder no. Kalau bawa no wonder director makum bufala fala atau halu dia. Mereka ni ni orang yang tergelar state house ini. When he told me that let's use my vehicle. Then I thought that, well, the director he mentioned is not inside the state house premises. Then uh, it must be somebody who is out of the uh, state house. <coughs> this is how we boarded his vehicle. Drive. He drove us. State house. We went out of the state house. Towards Albert Market. We went towards the Albert Market. He turned and took the route towards St. Mary's. After Menangi Independence Drive. Then we, we, took, the arch. we took the Independence Drive route towards the Arch. I go to Halani. I because already I and I to the office that I go to Marina Parade. Well, on the way going, none of us spoke to each other. Because I knew that uh, the way we were taking leads to the NIA office, and uh, uh, as far as he, the director is mentioned, should have been at the state house. Then we went like that quietly. I, I didn't talk to him, he didn't talk to me. 
that's how we went to, to, uh, towards wherever he was taking me to. So where did he take you? I number 10 Marina Parade. He took me to number 10 Marina Parade. Uh, the Mughal Gallema Pedo, Windar and Gambia Produce Marketing Board. The words written in front of the gate there was the Gambia Produce Marketing Board. When he got the opposite uh, um, judiciary complex. <coughs> it was the compound directly opposite the judiciary complex. The judiciary complex. I know you said on the board it said Gambia Granite. Gambia Produce Marketing Board. That's it. Sorry. GPMB. <laughs> But what was it? What was that place known to be? We of our me one day, we do in the what do we need? Gambia Produce Marketing Board. On palace, go on no under no. They call on one no headquarters National Intelligence Agency at the time. At that time, that was the place uh, called the headquarters of the National Intelligence Agency. So when you got there. Did you enter through the front gate or the back gate? We are the most yeti today. Ma korong, ko dambugal ba angal o nati nilo manda ko dambugal yes angal. Dambugal gong angal do yes o do kongal men nati. We went through the front gate. Continue to tell us what happened after you were taken through the front gate. Why fed you the hal na yim? Hal na yim? Ko nunga di hebi gilan de mara yado day ma ko nati nilo ma dambugal yes o angal. Do he men nati de dambugal yes angal do. They are how they will turn how that if we go to the Dumbangal, go on to men or Hal or Haldem, we can miss so like direct women or lambs from a set at a corner, eh, boy, a cojunian, junior, junior, a para. When he reached the gate, he turned the vehicle, and when I was about to alight, he told me, Well, Mr. So, uh, it is going to be a short discussion. Our director is going to ask you for a few, and that will be all. Then later on, uh, you can leave. So that's the time when they opened the gate. Myself and him, he drove the vehicle inside. We alighted. And we alighted, yes. Continue, Mr. Saw. So. The men GP, me na mako kadi me na ruti to 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 damugal to him be be oyaro be te per nati sato. And after alighting from the vehicle, we went on foot to the older gate where uh, people who usually come on foot, they have another gate where people who come on foot, on foot used to enter through. So we went to that gate. But there is a guard room near that place. Well, this was, I didn't know, but that's the day I knew that there is another guard room here. So I don't know the details in the uh, you know, to the good room, time on Garmio, a coyarinon. And that's the guard room where I entered. We they took the, my details, my name, where I work, and all the information they needed from me. So, Mr. Edu escorted you to the guard room. No, I need Mr. Edu come fetch him on Mahaga guard room, which is like a form of yes. a reception area. Don't you know what you need to reception? Good one, Kabe, Kabe, Bismilta, Hope, Arbebe. Hey. Yes. So did he hand you over to other NIA officers or was he present and they took your details? The Gelanda mo fit him na umaha katambugal don ka reception don da ojonu no ma NIA ji NIA ji go be nda ko o tawi no o tawa no don. Ko be wonno be men tawi be do dabugal do. Ko be no wi o wi be ko misa so mi adi ko invest o yahata invest mi na bato go. Yeah, uh, when we arrived Edu told the guys inside that guard room that I brought Mr. So. We are going, uh, I'm taking him for an invest. So at that reception area, you said your details were taken. Was anything else taken from you? You want my own reception. You want to hope I'm going to be military. I'm going to be a military. I'm going to be a military. I'm going to be a military. So, you know, I mean, Tau minat ane high office amta to state house to kono ngardo mini giuru mini galle kono nguni ro mi wondo no e baka mo laptop amo moton mi wonde wale da mi wonde mo baile ju fundi amu tati fof mi jeptu no yo chabi amu office amu well when I left my home and went to the state house I didn't reach my office so I was having my bag and inside that bag was my laptop I had my keys and my mobile phones with me so this is how 
uh, I went to my boss office where Edu picked me up, and this is how we boarded his vehicle and left for the NIA office. All those things were still with me. So in fourth, could on catch me the laptop or charge the mobile I left everything at the gate there with those people. My laptop, my bag, my keys, my phones, everything was left with them at the gate. So basically they stripped you of all your belongings at the reception area. You want to know what you need to do with your own phone, you can use your own phone, you can use your own Yes, that's how it happened. Do you know the name of the officers who were at the reception area? I don't know if they were at the reception area, because they were at the reception area, because they were at the reception area, because they were at the reception area. Being the ones that took your details and the ones that took all your belongings. No, I don't know his name. Can you continue to tell us after what happened when they took all your belongings? From Gila we pari yep tu gol di bawah saya jam di fuh window gol India mereka yari non Edu lam Edu ibu be hono way pari bimbi A Gila bimbi A rek Edu ibu kam boy nang jam After they took all my details and they stripped me of my belongings Edu asked them Are you ready? They said yes. Then that was the time when Edu told me in wall of boy nang jam that means boy let's go. Kone men info men men punti guard room. That's how we went out of the guard room. Men family, men jauh di motor moment park, mau park itu don. Men jauh di moment nato itu don. Hei, damu gel tusuk gel. We passed Edu's vehicle where he parked it, and went further. Then we went into a small room. Small door. A small door. We went through a small door. And then, then men jauh di on, ingat damu gel don. Men ji escalate yang di office kotor tu do. When we went through this small door, we saw stairs leading towards the story building upwards. To the first floor. Kodon men jing Edu her no yeso mi doche suki chagal mako. Then we took those stairs. Edu was leading and I was following him. Men daro yuko to office bite do director of operations. Thus we went and the first office we went to was the office of the director of operations. On time bite no Luis Gomez. And at that time it was Luis Gomez who was in that office. Kau ni dia hongkim dia menati, awi Luis asal bini dia, oh dia mencal mandi dia makau apa dia, awi Luis Miss Mia di Miss Asau. We he knocks on the door and we say he he was answered to go in. Then we went inside and when we reach when we went in, he told Mr Gomez that well here is Mr Asau I have brought I have brought him. So just to confirm. At that point, you are now sitting with a gentleman called Mr. Edu Gomez, who is now taking you to the gentleman called Mr. Louis Gomez. I put up in and do it down. On what to promise along hard hit a one to why you waited to Mr. Louis Gomez, Edu Gomez. John, you don't fit you out on your to my uncle in that my why you got a waited to Mr. Louis Gomez. Is that correct? I don't know why. I don't know why. Hey, that's correct. Mr. Luis Gomez was the head of operations at the NIA at that time. Mr. Luis Gomez, go kango jagi no sengo kango jagi no sengo ilige NIA benfort ongo biya tukong operation on what? Konon way. Yes, that's it. Thank you for that clarification, Mr. Sir. Yara ma indo lap indo gan lap ino rema. Can you continue to tell us what happened in the office of the director of operations? Yoni na wai ni na wai kuten efe yuda hala na yimbe kuhon nunghe bi gilanda wa ona uma the office director of operation duan Luis Gomez. Kone onto ma Luis Gomez we come Mr. So welcome. That's the time when Mr. So Mr. Gomez told me Mr. So welcome. Bimbo thank you. I said thank you to him. Owe edu you. English or Hollywood, we can, we more, you can take him to invest. Then he talked to Edu in English and told Edu that take him to invest. So me don't work for me under invest, invest me under invest. At that time, I didn't know what that word mean. The word they were using, invest, invest. I don't know the meaning of that word, invest. But I didn't also ask. Then I followed Edu again. So when you the office. 
office Liz Gomez. -o. We went out of Mr. Gomez's office. We took the right hand side turn. So we went and alighted the stairs. We went into an office where they called the office of the invest. So we found a man inside that office called Mr. Sukuta Jamme, but they usually call him OC. He received us. He said to me, Mr. So welcome. So I went to the office of the building. We found him standing at, the, at his office door. We didn't go inside his office. After he said to me, welcome, then we decided to take that long corridor up to the extreme end of the corridor. Then we went into an office there on the right hand side. Then we found somebody in that office called Mr. Mustafa Job. Then Edu, Edu, he, Edu he OC Jamme, Then Edu and OC Jamme went out of the office. Be yalti, got no do Lamin Sise. Then when those two people went out, somebody else came in called Lamin Sise. Koni Mustafa Salminikam. And that's the time when I exchanged greetings with Mustafa. Then he introduced me to Lamin Sise and told me that Lamin is my colleague. We are the people working here together. He told me to sit down, then I sat down. Continue, Mr. So. So after you sat down, what went on? Mr. Job. Then that was the time when Mr. Job started chatting with me. He was just making jokes, making, uh, telling me things which will make me laugh. It was some sort of uh, a bantering. We were joking and talking. Can you tell us what he was actually telling you? Yes, usually wherever we go, they, what they will tell us is that you people working at the state house, bring money for us, bring these dollars and pounds sterling so that we will also have our share and eat what we are supposed to get from you. These are the type of jokes he was making to me. These were the uh, uh, words he was telling me. Did you say anything to him? Ah, Mister, I because Well, at that time, I was unable to reply to his jokes because I was a bit worried. I don't know what I'm there for. So this is why I was unable to, you know, reply to his jokes that I should have, but I just made some few words with him. So at that point, you were in a state of confusion. Yeah, that was it. You still do not understand why you were taken to the NIA headquarters. That's it. Therefore, you did not think there was a need to be joking at that point. Yes, whatever joke at that time anybody tells me, I know that I was not there for a joke. So this is why I was not in that mood. Thank you, Mr. So. I think, Mr. Chair, this is a good point to take our first break. And we'll continue with, with the witness when we get back. Uh, thank you, Council, and thank you, Mr. So. We will resume at um, five past twelve noon. Thank you very much. Meeting is adjourned. Ajara Mr. So,
Jarang. Jarang. ñoo ak yeen rek skin care plus nara jakar lo ak yeen waxtan ak yeen tuti rek ci suñu tube suñu bax bax e muñ rek ci ay diw waye comme ni ngeen ko xamé rek dañoo yëngu ci ay tube te yëngu nak ci jos any tube suñu tube bu nekk five stages na la five stages na muy jess na bi gëna gëna pire mom lañu tube palman bi gëna fort mom lañu liggéeyé ah buñ démé bamako ñun duñ dem ci marché bi rek bub indi dedet dañ leena jox suñu specs ne lañ ni lañ ko bëggé nay lañ ko bëggé fort bi ñaar nangami fort lañ bëgga pour mu mëna set wow tube skin care dedet do ko sol mu di la taxa all over the place ci gatal ñun rek ci tube dara do doy bay dess not only dañu tube but bu do ni xey ñu tubal la ba paré nak ñawal la ñaw fim gëna seté nak rek lañu fulé ñetti jawkat lañ am am nañ ñaw kat simple nga xamné wi no xopati rek mba def sa tayba def sa dagit def sa roba amut ben dawme am nañ ko xamné mo ñoo dawme dawme jigen den am nañ tamit special ñawkat bo xamné ñewi goor rek lañu defal nga bëgg sa his and hers muy korété muy tobaski mba muy ngenté muy taka mba nga bëgg rek wi no def sa yëkë bu baaxa baaxa baax daagul ba ñu skin care plus ñu dimbali la tanal la ciup fam gëna baaxé ndax sa yëkë gëna fort li ngene lan xol bi bi takala skin care feel of legi en tay we not all about skin we are skin care and the plus and the plus does come in so many different ways <laughs>
bantu wuñ dé dañ ci bëm sap sap Miss B Designer Outlet is the number one quality and affordable stop shop for all your needs. Get your evening dresses, suit and ties, office wears for both ladies and gentlemen, beach wears, sport wears, pure leather shoes for men, quality belts, bags, heels for all beautiful ladies, original perfumes, accessories and a lot more. Find us at Kololi New Road opposite Gaddafi Mosque at the Aqua Preacher Station or call us on 295-3411 or 764-2486. Miss B Designer Outlet. Shop right, look good. abroad and want to build your dream home in the Gambia without risking your funds and family ties? Do you want a household name that is trustworthy and efficient? A name that will continue to give you updates on the project from the beginning to the very end with videos and pictures? If your answer is yes, then worry no more. Boss Construction and Asset Management is here for you. If you live outside the Gambia and want to build your dream home, then this is ideal for you. Just reach out to Boss Construction and let's start building the dream home into a reality. With Boss Construction, the difference is clear. We give you value for money. Some of our services include the following. Construction management, building equipment rentals, rent management, purchase and leasing, asset management and many more. For more information, please contact 282-4945. Better still, send us an email bossgambia at gmail.com or you can also visit our website on www.bossgambia.com Boss Construction, a name you can trust. Boss Construction and Asset Management, keeping families together. Mm. 
No, I didn't buy any more. I didn't buy any more. Welcome, welcome. Uh, Basically, a lot of lala, me along with school, man, that I can really relax. What yeah, the madam? Yeah, what the madam? Let them do some money. That's right. Grand Villa, Grand Villa. We love the Naduna, Namunan, Kanagara. Grand Villa. Ah, that's fine. Slowly. Yes, yes, yes. No, 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 na la bungol bebe senya rin adum na bungol bebe nyara ndirin coming e bella fila ila suwe tara nyame ntel grand villa na kiliano la lafino wala mu kawati ntel kam na ye sabati grand villa ye la kodo na fa kalamuta This is like a paradise. I know. Come on, I so much love this place. Yes, thank you, thank you. Trust me, I love this place. Tell them, you can move somebody and you're watching one. Yeah. I tell you. I love this place. Okay. I love this place, guys. Oh, yeah. Ni left on a cool case of Sotola. Futama origin to Paradise Estate by a commander okay 7527218. While a foot on a website auto www.grandvillaguesthouse.com. Grand Villa Guesthouse.